Um, hi guys, my name's Emily. I'm Dr. Funzik's nurse, and today we're going to be talking about reconstituting some sculpture, and then a little bit we're going to actually mix the sculpture. Um, to start, we're going to take our sculpture vial, and we're going to use some sterile water. Before we mix, we always write our lot number, the expiration date for the product, and the date that we mixed it with our initials. So we'll also write the date um, that was mixed on the vial. What we'll do first is we're going to take our caps off. And we're going to just sanitize both of them. And we're using an 18 gauge needle to pull up the sterile water. And we're going to pull up um, one and a half cc. Oh no, that's wrong. Okay, <laughs> we're going to pull up five cc's of sterile water. And then you just take the syringe and you inject it slowly into the um, sculpture. You kind of want to drip it in so that it doesn't disturb the product underneath. You don't want to agitate it or shake it because if you get it on the top of the vial, it's going to get stuck there. So uh, Dr. Fenzik always says it's like oatmeal, you just want to let it absorb it. and just slowly drip it into the vial. And then sometimes if you pull the um, syringe out now, it's going to squirt on you because there's so much compression, so you can let some air out. And then just remove it. And now the product insert says to let it set for 2 to 72 hours. Um, we know some trainers that let it set for up to a month, but for us, we find that if we let it set for a week, then it tends to not clot as much, which makes the injection more comfortable for the patient and faster. Alrighty, so now we're going to learn how to mix the sculpture. This vial has been sitting for one week, so it's ready for use. You'll need to get some um, lidocaine with Epi, and then you're going to take your alcohol swab and you're going to sanitize both of the tops. We use three cc syringes and an 18 gauge. And from here you would uh, draw up 1.5 cc of Lido with Epi. And you want to agitate the product um, because you want to make sure you get all the product mixed really well. You can swirl it. Um, you just don't want to give yourself a lot of bubbles. And then if you can, try and find your previous hole from reconstitution because if you don't get it in that hole, it's going to squirt out and you're going to lose product. And inject it up into the vial. And you're just going to slowly mix it back and forth to get a good consistent um, mixture. And then you pull it down to about 3 cc's. I go a little bit past because I know I'm going to have some extra. When you take it off, you're going to give yourself a bubble and then you pull out the rest of the product. You're going to want to get it all so make sure you have the needle at the very tip. Sometimes you can go back and forth. Now you can see that both of my syringes look equal in its um, cloudiness. And both of them have a bubble. And then we use 25 gauge needles for injection. When you do inject, uh, we like to have a couple spare ones 
so that if there is a clot in the needle, then you can replace it quickly without having a big pause. So when you're in the room waiting, you can let the bubble go back and forth to keep the product mixed. And we like to keep it underneath our armpit to keep it warm because it doesn't clot, clot as bad. But that's it. <laughs>